The easy part for the new 2012 Mazda CX-5 is replacing the aging tribute in Mazda showrooms as its compact crossover offering. The question is, can it combine Mazda's traditional driving characteristics with claimed hybrid fuel economy? The new CX-5 is a ground-up design. New platform, new styling, new powertrain, and a new interior. Like the just-released Mazda 6 sedan, the CX-5 wears Mazda's new Kodo design language. It isn't all that radical, but small touches like the front grille's thin chrome outline that migrates through the headlight bezels gives the Mazda crossover a premium feel. And despite the CX-5 being a practical utility vehicle, Mazda still wants to attract the type of buyer who likes to drive as well. So not to give too much away before I talk about how I feel of the CX-5 Skyactiv drivetrain, let's talk about the good things. First of all, it starts off with a very excellent seating position. Uh, these seats are going to remind you more of a caro than recliner. Uh, everything that the driver interacts with, with. so uh, the steering, lots of feedback, lots of feel. Uh, the handling is actually pretty good. It's still relatively stiff. It's a tall vehicle. But in a class that also has a Volkswagen Tiguan, and I'd even put the Kia Sportage up there, this CX-5 right now uh, feels like the sports car of the group. Uh, it's a difficult thing with this class to actually make these tall, heavy vehicles ride well, but this does. There's a bit of freeway hop uh, at high speeds, but overall, the ride and handling in the CX-5 is something that really should appeal to driving enthusiasts. To prove Mazda's car guy intentions with the CX-5, you can get one with a rare in this class manual gearbox. My tester came with what I think the majority of buyers will choose, a 6-speed automatic. Either way, don't expect to match Mazda's claim of hybrid-like fuel economy with the CX-5. The Autobox is rated at 8 liters per 100 in the city and 6.4 on the highway. Now that sounds great, but the 2.0-liter 4-cylinder only makes 160 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque, which means if you drive with any kind of aggression the CX-5's excellent suspension encourages, you'll have its gas pedal to the floor most of the time. And you guessed it, that means burning a lot more gas than advertised. In my case, I saw a real-world figure closer to 10 liters per 100 kilometers. As much as I like the overall package of the CX-5, especially its steering and ride and handling, I gotta tell you, it'd be great if it had about another 30, 40 horsepower. And on the other hand, in real world driving conditions, it doesn't get anywhere near the claimed fuel economy ratings. Kind of a typical rock and a hard place for this particular vehicle. For National Post Driving, I'm John LeBlanc.